building a half step you'll need to find the center and then how far you want to come out and cut a kind of like a clock finger and that will give you the edge all the way around to the step let me demonstrate and that will keep your bricks right a piece of wood you cut it cut it like a, a, a sh shape and then you screw the center and that's free moving and that should give you the arc we'll need a spirit level a trowel bolster chisel tape club hammer brick hammer mortar spot dry lay all the bricks to work out the joints before you start laying. You can see here I've laid the first two. I've used a boat level to find the exact level. I've taken a level with a large level across from the step and making sure that they are exact. I'm sweeping it dry, getting all the bits off like that because it won't stick. Move them back and I'm going to wet this with water because it's a very dry day, it's hot. Not too much because these bricks as semi-engineering bricks and they just will the fronts will get all messy so I just do it gently as I go I've got a good dry mix because the bed's got to be pretty high I don't want it too sloppy and I can place the bricks nicely on Today, but now we need to make a, a, a brick on edge to go all the way around so that it's got a top on, not holes. However, when you go round, you end up with a big, big gaps because of the arc. So, what we've done, we've made a template so the template fits on the brick like this. So, it's five mil each side to the top of the brick. So the next one's 5mm, creates a 10mm gap all the way down so it will loop neat. So I'm going to cut these all now to go around. Okay, that's an ordinary brick. That's the shaped one. You can see the difference there. And so when they're together, and go around the circle and keep, keep the 10mm joint, but get the curve. So what I do, I'm using the template very hard to cut these because they're very thin. You'll have to find your own way with it. But what I'm doing is transferring that to the brick. And what I do, I do it both sides. Probably could do it with pencil. I find this is permanent markers easier. But what I do, I'm going to cut one side part way through, and especially the face side, and then I mainly cut from the back, so you can maintain a good face. So I get it on the good soil. You've got to have gloves, good gloves on. got a diamond tip blade, which is much better. Gear protection. 
eye protection, hands protection. I lay them all again before you start. Look at this, there's uh, exactly the center here and the 16 each side. And I make sure that I'm, I'm dead on the center. And that works out perfectly. I'm taking out the center bricks, uh, the first four, so that I can lay these few first. I'll leave all the rest in and that makes sure that you've got um, the joints all right. As you can see here, I'm just laying the first few. I'll get those perfectly level. I'll make sure that the first brick is level completely and then the rest will level from that. I don't put much water into the cement because I allow the admixture that makes the mortar plasticizer work. I let it tumble around in the cement mixer a lot longer so that it actually locks a lot of air into the cement and so that it doesn't get runny and run over the bricks because these are semi-engineering bricks. They don't actually absorb the water. Get this first one right, 10mm joint, should be okay with the rest. 